Hey you all know me, I'm Chris D'Angelo Ambisco, founder and president of the uh, Neopart team, and you all know I have a Facebook account, two of them actually. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about the PICE program, that is short for Community Integration Thrill Cooperative Education. That's the name of the program. And it's uh, based mainly for special needs and um, like these people, like um, individuals with disabilities can apply for this program and they will pretty much put you, well, ask you what's your area of concentration, what do you want to take. For example, for me it's photography. I think for Brent it's photography. Some will be the like culinary. We have two in our first year program that's the culinary. Um, or like the culinary they want to get into, right? So, as examples, um, up here is towards the PIC office, upstairs, H wing I think it's called. Uh, this is still the H wing I believe, right here. This is the H wing, over there is the, the doors to the bus. So, to where you take the bus home, or coming in from the bus. Um, Let's see, what else can I think of the CIC program? It's been a very uh, interesting experience, a lot of fun, meet new friends. Brent, uh, who uh, she has the same interest as me with the videography, I think, or filmography, as they call it. Um, so that's one thing, is filmography. Uh, so I met him and some other amazing friends, like Joel, who's also into the DJing like I am for like I'm into the video part team radio and all that. Um, then like Brooke and uh, who else? Don, Scott, Graham, Melissa, Rianne, Nick, all of them. Uh, not everybody's there. I know that Rackaby and Brittany and David, Larry and who else is up there too, but uh, we're going to be interviewing them. Um, you want me to say something about Facebook or do you want me to wait for that or for that? Do it now. Actually, I'll show you. I'll wait for that on the Facebook. You don't have to wait until I get into my laptop upstairs. It's there, ready to go. Um, you had a few questions, Brent? Um, the CIC class, uh, is this your first year? Yes, it is. And. Do you like the facilitators? They're very good. They're very helpful. They know how to help you learn, like a learning experience. As well, they, they well, it's called modifying. They actually modify your workload. So certain questions on the uh, CI, like a, say, photography test, for example, they'll modify it. And sometimes they'll like, modify it so you have multiple choices uh, questions or true and false or short answers to modify it so it's not as big as a load as you would think on a regular program or a good example so what are your favorite classes so far so far my favorite classes are history uh fact fiction and truth i'm with larry with that one you'll get to meet him later um well, the communications was good. Hope Culture Film and Society has taken that, taken that one this semester, as well as pain history. Um, and then stress, wellness, and nutrition, which is my highest mark right now, in 97 percentile. And uh, that's teaching me how to deal with stress and how to deal it on a regular basis for school and outside school. Okay. Do you want to show? Introduce the audience upstairs. Sure, I don't know. I forget who wants to do it. So up oh, just show them your locker and your computer. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just heard that. I'm just gonna walk sideways so you guys can still see me. That's the trick to come on and see. Fair warning, my locker is a little on the disaster side right now. So. Well, you guys have seen it before. My one of my vlogs I've done 
couple of weeks ago. That's not a messy locker. Okay, there's my cap, my headband cap. This book is uh, Kane History. That's the Monday mornings, 810. This one is my CIC seminar and CIC field placement. It has my placement book. Give you a look. There it is. My, ow. I have my finger on the book. Okay, we're just gonna, I'm just going to throw this to the ground for now. Boy. This is my pulp culture one. I just had that class this morning. Of course, I have my big textbook. It's my textbook. It's pretty thick, long. That's that book. That's my pulp culture. And that just leave that out because I need that. Uh, study, uh, not study, but. I know I do some homework, there. and there's my stress wellness and nutrition. Sure usually my stress wellness and nutrition books here, but usually yeah. my pull it up right I know I have it with me. I saw it this morning when I packed up my backpack. And this is just uh, my paper. For notes and writing notes and all that class. That's my health book. And I still have an assignment to do. Some homework. So that's going to stay here. That'll be probably tonight I'll do that. Um, pretty well my locker. It's the half size locker and fits enough. I just have one question. Uh, did you do your test today? Not yet. I have it at 1 o'clock. I got an hour and maybe an hour and 12 minutes. From now, I'm going to be writing my test. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I want to get it done over with. I'm excited to have it done. And but it, like I said to you, it's being done in two parts. The part one today, part two is next week. Okay. Uh, maybe, you never know with the way, if I am zooming through the questions, maybe I'll actually get it done in a day. Today I might get it done, so I want to go to the tutorial next week. Finish it. All right, why don't you do an interview with myself and I can explain it. All right. Things. And then we'll walk on to yep. uh, Larry. I'll, just, I'll do the cutoff. I'll cut her off. All right, hi, my name is uh, Frank Rubio. I am a first year student back here. I had took in the night course in camera. And that is the office where we will be doing our test. I have one test today, the CICE, that's what it's called, Education from Cooperative Education. And I am the photography of this program. And this is my test that I'm going to be doing today is Western Civilization. I'm a little bit nervous because there are some skeptical words and stuff to remember. It's all about Napoleon, the Silver War, and revenge, revenge of the Revolution. I have to say, so far my classes from my first semester, my favorite human communications, because you learn how to talk to people right, properly, and you did a really good job for my placement at Walmart. If it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have done as well for the interview. And my other one was creative writing because I love writing and I was good at that class when I took it up with Chris yep. with my partner. And hopefully the next year he'll be my partner again. Yep. And uh, my favorite class this year is pop culture and film because I learned so much about society, different groups of cultures and gang neighborhoods and stuff like that. We were watching Boys in the Hood and I already did my test one today. I will show you my lockers. I'm a little bit different than what Chris has done because I leave all my books at home, so put them in a bag. My locker's not half size. And it's not half size either, it's a full size. Oops, sorry. Here, I'll move this way. Uh, as you can see, it's a little unorganized. See, that's my container, and that's my bag, which I'll take with me. These are just my papers. I just use it to throw my lockers. No poster. Like I said, nothing fancy. And 
You have shelves, I don't. I yeah. just have one big open space and that's it. I can't remember how much I spent for that lock. Uh, yeah. 20 bucks around, maybe? Something like that, yeah. It's about 20 bucks. That's just where I put all my books, but I leave my home yeah, and everything's yeah. all organized. Yeah. And uh, I really think that this class <clears throat> is excellent because you get awesome help. You're learning so many things uh, uh, four times in a row for four different classes. You do the test and the help here is really amazing. And this program's a lot of fun. So, that's uh, what I have to say for the school. And I'm just introducing myself. I am the guy who is the host of each episode's interview episode with the Golden Student. And hopefully we'll get the show in the Alright, now I think maybe, maybe not. I'll take you back to Chris and we'll introduce Larry. Alright. Don't worry. Okay. So, am I answering? Go talk with Larry and I'll ask him the questions okay. and introduce. Alright, this is uh, Larry. He's in my opinion. History, fact, fiction, and truth. A.K.A. Mr. Gun it's gonna snow. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any, yeah, so he, a little, a little uh, formal lunch is actually the second year. He's actually graduating this year. Mm -hmm. Lucky duck. I got a whole, hey, got a whole year to uh, go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ready? Right. And Larry, what are your uh, favorite classes? Wow. Well, one of my favorite classes is Canadian history. And one of my other favorite is, and then they have the, well, I like, I like that, I like more hockey, baseball, soccer, and not pretty much it. Oh, all right, now the other questions, this is, are you going to miss this program in the second semester? Oh. You mean after I graduate? Yeah. Definitely. And that's in three weeks, four weeks from today. Three weeks, four weeks, yeah. Oh. All right, now, the other question I want to ask you guys is about Facebook. Are you guys addicted to it? No, not really. I was, then I started, started cutting back. But I'm more into just having a account for my group, the New Park team. I only run that. I run that one a lot more than my regular. I will check from time to time to see if I got any game requests and all that. But I will. I do check it, so don't worry. You guys don't see me as much on uh, Facebook. I am still there. I haven't quit. I am not tending to quit, and I just tend to cut that scene out. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, it causes. I'll start from the beginning. Okay, answer your question again, please. Does Facebook ever cause lots of stress? Yes, it does. The uh, drama. There's been drama on there. Recently, I've had one individual. I will not say this person's name. Even if it's a he or she, I will not say that either. Some of you guys know who it is. I will not name names. But otherwise, it's been. It's. It's perfect. It's good. Everything is smooth. Everything is uh, running very good. Um, Facebook is just a great way to interact with my friends, uh, especially Joel over there and all the other, <laughs> all my other friends out there. All my other friends out there. Right, there. Let's do it. <laughs> there you go. He's not afraid of the camera. Um, just interacting with my friends. But you, you, you. Even on the weekend, I like interacting with you guys when I'm not there. Yeah. Yeah. Always need something from there. <laughs> Facebook, I'm not sure. I love the poke game and I uh, we always poke each other back. Yeah, I've been poking I had this poke game, I think in one day we had about 15, I had fifteen pokes, so that's it. we like poking each other, sending each other messages on the our walls, um private messages, sending game requests, uh, sending gifts for each game that everyone's involved with. 
Frontierville was another one. Farmville, Cityville, um, PSI, Sparkle, you name it. There's all kinds of different games out there I've tried. Oh, um, Monopoly, that's a new one I just started.